Hello there, this is Yana Smakula for Spellbinders Creative Arts, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to create an elegant, layered card using Spellbinders Botanical Bliss Collection. I'm going to be using Labels 55 Decorative Element Dies, as well as Floral Tags, Botanical Flutters, A2 Scalloped Borders 1, Labels 55, Classic Ovals Large, and I'll also use 5x7 Mini Basics B dies for this project. Begin by creating an oval die kit. I'm using the medium oval die from the Labels 55 Decorative Elements set and Gold Mirror cardstock, and I'm going to cut and also emboss this in my Platinum die cutting and embossing machine. I already have my base platform, my bottom clear plate, my gold cardstock. I'm going to place the die facing cutting edge down, cover with another clear plate, and center the machine to cut. To emboss this element, I'm using the embossing sandwich, and I have my base platform, the die with the paper still inside, tan embossing mat, and blue embossing plate. And here is a close-up of this die cut. I really love the dotted detail here. It's, I think it's simply gorgeous. While I have my machine out, I'm also going to cut additional elements, which I'll need to put this card together. I'm using one of the tag dies from the Floral Tags set, and I'm going to cut and also emboss the floral frame out of, again, same gold mirror cardstock. You can use these dies to make tags or frames. If you want to have a tag, use just the larger die. If you want to have a frame, add a smaller die inside. And this is what I'm doing. I also like to use a small piece of washi tape to tape my dies in place so they do not move while I do the die cutting and embossing. You can also use painter's tape or any other low-tech tape for this. Use your Spellbinders tool-in-one to help you get the die cuts out of the die and you can also use this tool to help you get the negative pieces out of your dies. Another element that I'm going to cut and emboss out of this paper is the little bird. And this die is also from the Botanical Bliss collection. I also have two dies from the Labels 55 set. I'm not sure about the size of the die cut that I will need, so I'm going to die cut and emboss both sizes, and I'll select the proper size later. I'm using white cardstock for these, and I'm cutting and embossing these in my machine. To save time on video, I've already pre-cut a few additional pieces using older Spellbinders dies. Here I have a border created with the help of two dies from the A2 Scalloped Borders 1 set, and also a panel cut out of patterns paper with the help of the largest die from the 5x7 Manning Basics B set. Another piece that I have pre-cut for this card is an oval, and you'll see it in a second. Let's go ahead and put this card together. I'm going to use the grid lines of my cutting mat to align the die cuts on the base panel and make sure I have everything centered. First, I'm going to adhere the die cut border, and I love using these for my projects. Spellbinders border dies are fantastic for these type of cards where you want to have a lot of layers and dimension. The top of my border is unfinished and I'm going to cover it up with a piece of green satin ribbon. This color matches to the greenery of the patterned paper I'm using today. So I'm only adding a strip here, I'm not tying a bow, and I will add another piece of ribbon later. The next step is to foam mount the largest gold die cut. And I'm using a lot of foam adhesive for this. I love when my die cut elements are popped up on my cards. To help the next die cut layers stand out on this project, I'm going to adhere an oval die cut that was cut out of identical patterned paper used for the background. It will mute a lot of the gold and will create a perfect placeholder for the die cuts I'll layer on top. Again, I'm going to use foam adhesive to adhere the next layers. I've already heat embossed a sentiment onto a smaller label created using Labels 55 die, and I heat embossed Happiness is Contagious, but a lot of other sentiments would work great here. I'm using glue to adhere the gold tag frame, as I feel there is enough dimension on this card, and that last layer can be adhered directly onto the label without any additional dimension. Lastly, I'm going to foam mount this panel onto a side folding card base created out of white cardstock, and this card base measures 5 by 7 inches. I added another kind of ribbon over the green ribbon and tied it into a small bow, and I also foam mounted the die cut bird over the right hand side of the die cut frame. 
Here's a closer look at this card featuring Botanical Bliss Collection from Spellbinders. If you're interested in the products I used, I have them linked down below in my YouTube description. Here are a few more fun videos on my channel featuring Spellbinders dies. First one features two cards with Spellbinders Circle the Lie dice. The second one talks about Spellbinders Labels 1 dies and all other sets that go well with this label ones, Labels 1 die. And the third one talks about my perfect card making formula and how I use Spellbinders dice to create stunning die cut frames for clean and simple cards. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet done so, and thank you so much for watching.